Mr. Corbin. Detective. Word on the street is you are no longer a person of interest in the Jason Morgan motorcycle crash. They told me that too. Did they tell you why? The crash was the result of a defective stabilizer which you installed. They covered all this when they questioned me before the case was closed. See, the manufacturer said they've never had a problem with that part. Why was Jason's bike the exception? No idea. Any idea why they closed the case in the middle of the investigation? <laughs> Maybe someone intervened, someone with influence, either at the PCPD or City Hall? I'd like to get started with my workout. <laughs> Don't let me keep you. If Cyrus calls for a meeting, you agree, you go, and you take the job. He's got to know there's a chance I'm spying for you. No, you convince him otherwise. You're dropping your left shoulder. Mr. Renault, I'm glad you agreed to this meeting. Yeah, no offense, but why'd you want to meet in a place that Sonny owns? Sonny and I have a truce. There's no reason for me to avoid his various places of business or for Sonny to avoid General Hospital. Of course, if you're worried that he'll object to this conversation, that's... Sonny can object all he wants. He can't tell me what to do. Well, I'm glad to hear that. So, do you have an answer for me? You'll need to drive me where I want to go, then provide security and protection once I get there. I could do that. Assuming your work meets my standards, there are opportunities for promotion. Hmm. What's the downside? Excuse me? Well, signing on to be your bodyguard means I agree to put myself between you and a bullet. So how many people want you dead? I don't think anyone's actively trying to kill me at the moment. But the situation could change, and I feel more comfortable with a bodyguard. Now, if it's not going to be you, I need to find someone else. So make a decision. I'll take the job. Good. You start tomorrow. Be sure to notify Sonny. I want this all out in the open. Understood. Oh, and if you happen to hear anything of interest, I expect you to tell me. I like to stay informed. Uh, then you should be talking to someone with better access. Sonny treats me like a poor relation, and Jason thinks I sabotage his bike. They don't tell me anything. So if that's the real reason you hired me, better call it off. I hired you to drive me. I expect you tomorrow, 8 a.m. I'll be there. Welcome aboard. <laughs> 